ఫ్రెండ్స్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఎస్పెషల్లీ తనుల్ ఠాకూర్ ద ఇన్వెస్టిగేటివ్ జర్నలిస్ట్ హూ ఈజ్ రైటింగ్ బుక్ అండ్ కుమార్ ఎక్స్క్లూజివ్ హెచ్ వన్ బి అండ్ అమెరికన్స్ డిస్ప్లేస్డ్ ట్వంటీ మిలియన్ అమెరికన్స్ ఆర్ వాస్డ్ అవుట్ ఫ్రమ్ అమెరికా బై ఇండియన్స్ దట్స్ వాట్ ఈస్ కోర్ బుక్ సారీ ఫర్ మేకింగ్ తెలుగు వీడియోస్ బికాస్ నాన్ తెలుగు స్పీకర్స్ అండ్ అమెరికన్స్ ఇట్స్ అ డిఫికల్ట్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ అండ్ డెఫినెట్లీ ఐ విల్ మేక్ ఆల్ తెలుగు వీడియోస్ ఇన్ టు ఇంగ్లీష్ వి గోట్ అవర్వెల్మింగ్ రెస్పాన్స్ ఈమెయిల్స్ ఫ్రమ్ సింగపూర్ canada uh, gulf also some one brother sent audio messages and um, yeah few students are also writing email like for example a student studied uh, miss mechanical but went to body shop body shop uh, saying we don't file h1b so move to hadoop uh, hacking various technologies and then they fake their resumes they supply fake green cards in america most 90% of indian body shops and 90% of recruiters brothers and sisters from india supply fake green cards fake us citizenship cards also that is really shocking to me that's what i exposed just now in a video and uh, that is what and uh, then finally they have, like for example you hire a cab but uh, from home to airport but you don't pay money what does the cab driver do that is what happening in uh, america and i use foul language uh, because these guys h one b abusers indian cash groups are uh, like a terrorist and, and uh, what i explained is like uh, how um, 200k in illegal indians are uh, living because uh, uh, 1 lakh in indian digit, uh, digits digits uh, that is 100000 international students come every year from india to usa and uh, majority of them received fake green cards from indian recruiters from india and also from indian body shops in usa so they uh, there are no jobs here honestly so they poach american jobs by showing um, us citizenship fake cards and green card fake green cards this is indian parents are not aware indian parents are also knowingly or unknowingly part of the crime by pushing their children to usa where no jobs you know just because neighbor son went they are also pushing their children to us that is one and the next one there are no jobs so they are poaching it they are getting fired they are getting caught they are going to fake universities because they don't want to go back so out of 1 lakh um, 100000 only 25000 are h1b uh, quota is there and h1b is purely luck not merit and talent talent is for o visa then what happens is these uh, 25000 right 75000 international students remain in the country so you can imagine 200k illegal indians is also very less and uh, 3 million indian citizens entered by crossing border so these are the numbers i will expose one by one don't worry thank you for watching and uh, this is uh, one i am running out of time and uh, i do have a family life right i do have other uh, project shares and so many issues are there but in spite of it i'm taking time whenever i find that's why mostly i record it from a van car whatever on the street but americans looking at the content indians looking at my car color skin color um, the long ways i use skills so this is, you need blood and guts in the body to expose crime man that's it thank you very much This is just summary of the Telugu videos what I made. Thank you. Also one most important uh, point here is all my subscribers they sent huge information uh, about these fake universities, fake scams and all. And also I have received uh, voicemails from the Gulf and others I mean appreciating my work. One is appreciating my work. Second uh, receiving filthy comments thought i'm receiving a lot of information otherwise how do i make these many videos right so my subscribers are my strength and uh, i'll watch a couple of videos telugu channels i stopped watching from 2015 april but telugu or indian media news i mean uh, but i start watching because the subscribers sent many links at onnis indian at onnis links and they all are asking still she wants to stay in uh, he said i don't want to go back um, even if it is february 5th 
um, those things. What I want to communicate is uh, Indian media and the people participating in Indian media also have a body shops. They are doing crime, I mean, in the majority of them. They are afraid to tell the kind of punishment these students receive. Definitely the students who are the brokers, uh, they will receive severe punishment because if they don't, I will request America to punish because anybody has to be afraid to do this kind of brokerism. And uh, day one CPT take from one university and uh, work elsewhere and the uh, other end of the years, they, such students got to be afraid. And if OPT, CPT expire, they have to exit the country. If H1B is not picked up, stop doing illegal things and body shops. These things, I'm support of good students. I'm not supporting illegal illegals. That is the difference between uh, uh, these two. My, this is a clarification or the message I'm sending out clearly. So I'm not supporting illegals. I'm supporting good students. Okay. So punishment will be very severe because they destroyed on... University means one education system they destroyed and become part of the people participating also knowingly did the crime. They also must receive severe punishment. I would request America to punish severely. Thank you.